I have this HR28 from 2018 and the fault with this is that secondary boom it doesn't go up okay so this cylinder it doesn't open well it does open on uh, diesel power but it doesn't work on electric okay so it's quite interesting fault because I tried to operate it from the base controls and it's exactly the same if I operate it from the cage controls so it's not a problem with electrics or the controls so it's more likely to be a problem with the hydraulics and then what I want to just to show you here in the cage I have my diagnostic module connected okay so on that module I can see the current and the pedal positions okay so what I will try to do now I will try to go up on the secondary boom or links boom and try to see what's gonna happen so one two three go up it tries to go but it stops it doesn't move anymore and on the screen I have 100% analog output and the current output I have 1899 milliamps so 1900 milliamps okay so this maxed out um, so the pedal switch is doing fine and we are at the speed free but the booms doesn't go up anymore it's just gone up a tiny bit and it stopped okay so if I go on a secondary boom or the primary boom sorry it's no problems it just goes up fine so only the secondary boom or links only links has this fault okay all right so now what I will do I will start the diesel engine okay so the engine is running and I will do the same. So I will go on the links, on the secondary boom up. So one, two, three, go. It's working fine on the diesel. Okay, it's going up, no problems. And the way down. Okay, so that is working. So let's stop the engine. Oh, actually, the one more thing to look at. If you look on the diagnostic module, the current on a diesel is exactly the same. So you have 1900 milliamps. So the current to the drive, uh, to the valve, uh, is the same. It's exactly the same on the diesel or on the electric, but on electric it doesn't go up. It goes up only on the diesel power. So it's definitely the problem with the hydraulics um, and what I want to show you now is just the pressure readings okay and this is very it could be very misleading fault because if you would start suspecting the motor electric motor or motor controller or maybe even cylinder so it can get very expensive to fix so let's check the pressures and we're gonna go from there. I got my pressure gauge fitted on. So on the pressure filter here, we have a test point for the pressure line. So we'll fit the pressure gauge here. Um, this is my pressure gauge showing 0.1 bar at the moment. And what I will do, I will use the machine from the base controls and I will use the links up, okay? But before I do links up, I will use the tele in and telescope boom is fully closed. So the telescope boom is fully closed and I will use a tele in at that end it just to see how much pressure I can build. Okay. Let me see if I can get the gauge in the view. Okay. One, two, three, go tele in. 140 bars. Okay. So next one. I go up on the links. One, two, three, up. Exactly the same. So the links, the links has moved up slightly and it stopped. And we don't have enough pressure. It's building only 140 bars pressure. Okay. So 140 bars. That's not enough, and that's why it's not moving up. 
So, where is the problem? And if I do it with the engine, let me start the engine here. Okay. The diesel engine is running now, and I use tele in. So, one, two, three, tele in. 182 bars. Okay. And the links up, or secondary boom up. One, two, three, go. It is a bit more pressure here on the diesel engine, but one thing I want to show you is under engine side canopy on a hydraulic pump. Okay, this is our hydraulic pump. We have this plug here. Okay, at the back you have the plug. If you remove that plug, okay, it's called PCTR. Okay. If I remove that plug, I think now it's not gonna lift even with the engine. So let's try it from the cage. So before, it didn't lift on electric, but it was able to lift on the diesel engine, but now, let's see, if I go on a diesel engine, it's the same as electric, it stopped doesn't move anymore so it's exactly the same as on electric so reason why it's not lifting on a diesel now is that solenoid we disconnect from the pump is being energized only when diesel engine is running and on electric that solenoid is off and when we start diesel engine that solenoid comes on and if I disconnect the solenoid, I'm using the pump in exactly the same configuration as I would use an electric power. Okay, that's why it's not lifting up. And that solenoid is just, uh, it's just a high torque solenoid for the pump. So it's able to produce more flow. And that's, that's why the, re the, the pressure will be higher. And that's why it's able to move. If you have the problem with the second the boom, the first thing what you need to do is have a look inside the chassis here. So you have a, diff lock here and on the left hand side you have a suspension valve block at the bottom of that suspension valve block you have a pressure test point I put my pressure gauge right here okay so this is where my pressure gauge is and what I'm gonna do now is need to enable the second input um, channels second channel okay so now I see two pressures the one pressure from the pressure filter and the second pressure the bottom one is from the suspension valve okay what I'm gonna do here at the base control I'm gonna I'm going to press wait, let me get this somewhere there we go it's fine so I'm gonna push a green button here and I want to see what sort of pressure we have Okay, so motor is running and the pressure there is seven and a half bars, okay? And that is way too high. That's way too high. So on this machine, we have a hydraulic schematic number D81432 issue five. So the pressure I would expect to see like now, you see it's four bars. Um, so it's, it, the pressure should be around 3.7, four bars. Okay, if you have more than five bars or close to five bars, you most likely have the problem with the loss of flow back to tank. And the reason why this is happening is because we have one way uh, valve, uh, which is rated five bars. And if we have a pressure against that, that valve, more than five bars, it's gonna start opening the valve and we're gonna lose the flow. I will mark this up on the schematic just to show the picture on a, on a hydraulic schematic what it is. So what we need to do now, how are we going to reduce the pressure? We need to try to adjust it. I put some light in there just to show you where the valve is. And I 
the socket into valve and um, this is where the, the valve is this one here okay so this is what I need to adjust and if you look from the top that's how it looks like the valve is there okay so the way I'm gonna adjust it is I have to screw it anti-clockwise if I want to reduce the pressure okay and clockwise if I need to increase the pressure so we're aiming for about 3.7 bars so I'm gonna measure the pressure now on suspension valve block and uh, I will adjust the valve as I showed previously and what I will do now I will record the audio of that hose so you can have an idea how can you get out of this situation if you are in a field and you have you don't have a means to measure such a low pressure so if you need to measure pressure pre precisely at the four bars it's not always easy to do it um, normally the most analog gauges is going to struggle to do it because they are we use them more for higher pressures and the four bars is not very high so if you don't have a pressure gauge that can measure the four bars what you can do you can listen on that hose listen the way it sounds and you will hear the flow going through that hose okay and you adjust the valve on the clockwise until the flow stops so the first thing I'll do I will start diesel engine when a diesel engine is running I don't have to use a green button okay so we can run the diesel engine and I will do adjustments that way so base controls let's start diesel engine Engine is running now. We have 7.5 bars. Okay, so 7.5 bars. That means this one-way valve is open and there's a flow going. All right. Let me try to record that. get this work and you still think the leakage is going through that hose back into tank so, and by setting the pressure it doesn't make any difference um, so you lower the pressure and it doesn't make any difference then what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to remove this big one-way valve it's right here you have to remove that valve and inspect maybe it's contaminated uh, maybe it's partially open and it's leaking so if there is a fault in that valve and it has a leakage in it or high high leak and then you the pressure adjustment is not going to make any difference then you're not going to be able to adjust it so you need to make sure the valve is functioning correctly before you adjust the pressure okay because if the valve is leaking you can lower the pressure as much as you want you're still going to have that leakage there okay but hopefully no problems with that and easy job just to adjust the valve and the machine is good as new right back to the cage so the pressure is set let's test it now 
so up no problems at all easy peasy on the way down and uh, that is on electric power you can see here going and it's going much faster let's start the engine so diesel engine is running and one two three go up it's much much faster perfect so it's working good no problems at all so yeah if you have the problems with the secondary boom please check that check that setting on that uh, pressure regulator 